What is up everybody, Jiko here today. Today, I wanna to talk about something. But before I do, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel as it helps so much. So today's topic has to be around webcam modeling. And as you guys can see by the title, it says, what happened to webcam modeling? And now you might say, well, what are you talking about? So before I even get into this, I feel like um, artificial intelligence is gonna be taking over so many jobs, such as maybe webcam modeling. I saw an application where there was like a woman dancing and you would buy credits or tokens or whatever to make her do specific dances. Now this is like a kid friendly app or something like that. This is not supposed to be, I guess, sexualized or you know explicit, but you pay to make her dance, I guess, but you can earn the credits online. But I can just see some AI coming out where there's gonna be a person that looks like a person and you can make that quote unquote person do whatever you want. Um, sexually I can see that happening but let's get back to the topic so as you guys know um, I started as a webcam model in 2012 on flirt for free in 2015 I believe I started on chatterbait and then I was on chatterbait for you know a few years a couple years and then I decided to like take a break and come back and take a break and come back and I've been like that since since like 2017 2018 maybe and the reason why um, I did that was primarily because OF came out in 2017 um, I was doing other things like Model Centro and then I did a JFF so then I started to create revenue from other sites where I didn't really have to work on camera um, I just felt like it was very time consuming. Sometimes I felt like it was a hit or miss, but there was some really, really good days. And I think on my best day um, on camera, I made $2,000 in one day. Now that wasn't something that occurred, occurred um, normally. So when I started off as a, a webcam model when I was 18 years old, I was so passionate about it. I was so fixated on it. I was so, dedicated to it I would go I remember my schedule I would like wake up eat my breakfast um, go on for four hours and then I would go to the gym and do something else and then work for another four hours and I could do this because I wasn't in a relationship or maybe I was when I started I don't remember but and I didn't have a child and I lived at my parents house right there was like nothing else to do really now obviously I played some video games and I didn't really have friends, so that's that's what I did. And I did this for a little bit, and then I moved into my mobile home, and then even then I was still working a pretty, I was, I was very, oh my God, this line. I was very dedicated, and I was very proud of myself. And then, like I said, around 2017, things, you know, changed just a bit. So, oh my goodness, let me see what I gotta do here. All these people from the, uh, charter school so things changed a little bit so now I'm at a point well well previously like a few months ago I was going on every few days or you know a couple times a month so there we go that being said um, now since I'm free every seven days, I go on for seven straight days. But something I realize, because now I'm working on um, Flirt and Chatterbait at the same time, because I have to. And then I and I tried out a company called Strip Chat, and to me, it was just like, holy crap, this is so bad. And I might give it another try, or I might do all three at the same time, I really don't know. So that, like I said, um, so I'm on Chatterbait, and normally, previously, I was having a, at least a hundred without explicit being being nude, and then um, I would sometimes have up to a thousand people in the room. And now it's like fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, and then exposed. It's like fifty tops. So. I'm start, I start to ask myself, I'm like, well, what changed? And I realized that 
Chatterbay reached out to me many months ago and was like, hey, do us a favor. You have too much advertisements on your OBS uh, overlays. Like you're advertising your OF, you're advertising just fans. We have that in the bio so you can add that so you don't need that there too. I don't, and then they said like, we're one of the only companies that allow you to advertise that. So previously they didn't care. So this new, I guess, rule that they're coming up with and I didn't know how much they were enforcing it. So I didn't really take it off until like just a couple weeks ago. But then I started thinking in my head, I'm like, well, maybe they're like pushing me back because of this. And then I reached out to them. They're like, no, we don't do that. But then they also have a, a button called feature me or whatever, or promote me where you're literally paying to be at the top of the page or something like that. Now, keep in mind when I looked for myself on the pages, cause there's so many pages of people. When I look, I feel like they need to be more strict with who they allow on the site because I feel like there's just so many and I get it. People want plentiful of options and that's cool and all. Oh my God, I don't know why traffic's so bad. I mean, I guess school, but still it's just freaking awful. Um, It's great to have a lot of options, but isn't it quantity over quality? I meant, sorry, (laughs) it's quality over quantity. So that being said, you, they should have some restrictions like, oh, you know, to be on the first page, you have to have this many followers or you had to spend this many hours online or verified your social media has to have this much following, something like that. And I get it. New people have to start off somewhere. I, I understand that and I get that as well. But people with longevity and, you know, history should also be somewhere as well. So that being said, they denied it and they said, oh, we're not doing anything to your page, blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. But Like I said, I would have like 30 viewers in my room and on the second page, there's people with 30 viewers. And then I look and I'm on the eighth page or the seventh page. And then I'm just like, why am I with people with five or four viewers? Nobody's gonna find me going through the eighth page. You know, they do have an announced that I'm online feature. I could share the Twitter, I could share the link on Twitter to say I'm online, but it's just been like, extremely, extremely slow this month. Like the worst I've ever seen. And the other side, you know, is not that much better. Now, yes, it's, you know, it's extra income. And no, I'm not doing two four hour shifts. Maybe that's why, maybe it's like, hey, if you're only on for two hours, that's that's not enough. You need to do four and four. But realistically, my life is different, right? I am with somebody, I do have a child, so those are different things to consider and it's just like man is 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 web is webcam modeling falling off and the reason why i'm doing this is because everything else is just so slow that i'm like hey i have to do this in order to like make it to make it by so one second So yeah, it's just it's just really, really tough. And I, I think the site is irrelevant because I know Chatterbait brings in one of the most amount of viewers and I know Strip Chat does and I know, you know, Flirt for Free does. Obviously they're a different type of, you know, fan base, but it's it's a lot. And with um, Flirt for Free, the, the commission is so much less unless you make a specific threshold, which I'm not gonna announce, but it's rough. It's really, really, really rough. So just trying to do my best, keep my head up, think positive. You know, I'm at a point where I'm just like, what is the next step to not only make my fans happy, but to make more money in general. And that's why I was talking about the virtual shows. But I think a lot of people got confused in my last video that I said, I'm gonna make four videos with guys per month online. That didn't mean like together in person. That meant me, screen, video chat, two people, and you're seeing that person, you're seeing me, and it's like a role play scene type thing. So if you guys saw my last video and you thought that I was saying that that's gonna be in-person videos, then you you got confused or I didn't clearly explain myself right. So I just wanna make that clear that what I meant was, let's just say on a Zoom call, me and another performer, and 
we're working and then I'm recording myself and I'm recording the screen and maybe I can get the person, oh maybe not, we'll see. But yeah, that would be that. And it would be four videos per month for the $25. Not saying four videos of me with another person in person for $25. That's something I, I personally wouldn't do. I would just sell it directly like I did with the Vadim videos all those years back. I mean, that's what I would do to, to make the most profit because I couldn't make enough videos to um, keep 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 up a, um, a fan site. Sorry, I'm paying attention to my driving. It's just so much traffic. So that's, that's what I meant by that. And hopefully that clarifies and gets rid of any type of confusion so thank you guys so much again if you're not subscribed please subscribe I'm on my way to the gym the time changes in a few days I think a few days and I don't know if it's gonna be darker anymore. that is one like I'm a very smart individual but when it comes to time change like I don't know in the mornings if it gets lighter or darker faster so the clocks are going back an hour so that means they go back it's darker earlier so if they go back in the morning I guess it's also darker earlier I gotta make a separate video of that I like it all these years and I still can't figure crap out oh let me go this way um, it's so crazy so crazy but yep thanks for watching take care